I'm joined today by two of my colleagues, and what we're going to be talking about today is the topic that everyone wants to hear about, Leading with Insights, or LWI. What is LWI, or Leading with Insights? So LWI is a construct that we use, and we have an asset that's built out around it. Um, but what we're doing with this is we're creating the opportunity for a customer that is either on ECC or on a non-SAP ERP to be able to ingest their data in real time and be able to start to take advantage of some of the capabilities that the SAP HANA platform offers for customers. And so that's really the first primary point that we use for that. The second piece that we do out of it is, is that we're using it as a foundational element to provide more advanced analytic capabilities going forward. And we're gonna be rolling several of those out over the coming weeks. So maybe Scott, talk to me about uh, the type of integration that exists here. We heavily utilize the BTP stack from SAP, right? And a whole lot of the services in there, including the integration suite, including HANA Cloud, some of the AI stuff, and we also utilize SAC oh. as one of our UI pieces. What are the top three things you want everybody to know about LWI? The first thing I would start off with is, is that LWI is actually a rapid implementation paradigm. So, um, you know, quite often in the analytics space, people get hung up on, oh, it's going to take so long, it's going to be months or years before we get there. We, on average, we're delivering in 90 days from start to finish to get things up and running, full financials, and supply chain information. Time to value, um, time to value is extremely fast. Um, and so that's really the first thing to recognize around it. The second item that I would say is that it continues forward. So there is not a challenge around technical debt because you can still utilize this exact same solution as you move forward and go down your S4 journey. Once you've got S4 on the backside, you're able to take advantage of it there. I think it's very critical from a business perspective when we have that data coming in, having it in real time and sitting there not having to worry about any of the transformations or anything you have to do with the data. Because as Chris mentioned, we have those S4 HANA constructs already, regardless if it's ECC or S4 or non-SAP source data that's coming in, right? And part of what you hear about in the luncheon today is actually some of the newer assets. But I think real time is, on top of what Chris talked about, is, is really key to unlocking the value. 